the Breen Council members shielded their eyes in disbelief as the human spacecraft roared to life, sending out FTL shockwaves that shook their bones and proved that their entire understanding of the galaxy was about to change forever. Humanity, fuck yeah! The Prometheus engages FTL in three, two, one! Will Carter exclaimed from his captain's chair at the pilot controls of the sleek, powerful Prometheus. The council chamber fell silent as holographic maps flickered wildly from the shock waves. The tall, slender council leader, Niran, rose from her seat. You must intercept the crack's doomsday weapon, Captain Carter. Our worlds and our lives are in your hands now. Succeed and both our races may live. Fail and ten billion Breen die, with humanity blamed and hunted to extinction for their hubris in believing an impossible technology could save us. Will shook his head as he pulled down his visor, preparing for the first ever jump to FTL. You're right that we're the only ones who can do this, and we won't fail. It's what we humans do, make the impossible possible. Hold on to your asses. The human captain smirked before slamming on the throttle, as blue FTL energies exploded from the Prometheus's drives and sent the spacecraft hurtling out of real space in a burst of white light towards the distant colony and its date with destiny. Will Carter strode into the Prometheus, the sleek arrow-shaped craft looming before him. Its matte black exterior absorbed the light from the hangar bay, giving it an aura of power and mystery. He placed a hand on the ship's hull, feeling the thrum of the reactor beneath his fingertips. This was it, the ship that would change everything. The airlock hissed open, and Will stepped inside. The interior was a marvel of human engineering, all sleek lines and advanced technology. The bridge was spacious, with holographic displays flickering to life as he approached. He ran his fingers over the intuitive control interfaces, marveling at the responsiveness. Captain on deck! Jack Ryder, Will's best friend and co-pilot, snapped to attention. The thirty-five-year-old former Marine had a talent for navigation that was second to none. At ease, Jack, Will grinned. We're not in the military anymore. Dr. Ethan Nakamura, the forty-year-old scientist responsible for the Prometheus revolutionary FTL drive, looked up from his console. All systems are green, Captain. The drive is ready for its first test. Isaac Sorensen, the twenty-eight-year-old weapons prodigy, gave a thumbs up from his station. Weapons are armed and ready. Let's hope we don't need them. Will settled into the captain's chair, feeling the weight of the moment. As the Prometheus cleared the Council's orbital station, he couldn't help but feel a sense of exhilaration. This mission would change the course of galactic history and cement humanity's place among the stars. All right, people. Let's do this, Will said. He took a deep breath and initiated the FTL sequence. The reactor hummed to life, the pitch rising as the drive engaged. A shimmering distortion field enveloped the Prometheus, the stars outside the viewscreen stretching into long streaks of light. In a flash of brilliance, the Prometheus vanished, leaving the stunned council members in awe of what humanity had achieved. The ship emerged from FTL on the outskirts of the Zarya system. Will leaned forward in his chair, eyes scanning the readouts. I'm detecting the cracks, warship, Isaac reported, bringing it up on the main screen. The viewscreen filled with the image of the insectoid vessel. It was massive, easily dwarfing the Prometheus. Its chitinous hull bristled with menacing spikes and pulsing energy weapons that glowed with a sickly green light. Will felt a chill run down his spine. Engaging the cracks head-on would be suicide, but he had a plan, one that would use the Prometheus's unique capabilities to their advantage. All right, team, here's what we're going to do. Will leaned forward in the captain's chair. Isaac, target the crack ship's weapons systems with our EMP missiles. Isaac's fingers flew across the weapons console. EMP missiles locked on target, firing now. The Prometheus shuddered as a volley of missiles streaked out towards the insectoid vessel. The missiles, their casings a dull black, rapidly closed the distance. The cracks, still reeling from the sudden appearance of the human ship, failed to raise their defenses in time. 
The missile slammed into the cracked ship's hull, detonating in a series of bright flashes. Electromagnetic pulses rippled across the alien vessel's surface, penetrating its energy shields and wreaking havoc on its electronic systems. Explosions blossomed along the ship's weapons array as cascading failures tore through the circuitry. We'll watch the readouts intently. Their weapons are offline. Move us in closer, Jack. Let's press our advantage. The Prometheus surged forward, closing the distance to the crippled Crax warship. But as they approached, a new threat emerged. Dozens of small drone-like craft poured out of the Crax ship's hangar bays, each about the size of a fighter. The drones swarmed around the Prometheus, their metallic carapaces glinting in the starlight. They opened fire, peppering the human ship's shields with a barrage of laser blasts. The bridge shook as the shields absorbed the impacts. Will gripped the armrests of his chair. Jack, take out those drones. Jack, his marine instincts kicking in, switched the ship's point defense lasers to manual control. His hands danced over the console as he targeted the drones, the lasers swiveling to track the agile craft. One by one the drones vanished in puffs of flame as Jack's precise shots found their marks. But for every drone destroyed, two more seemed to take its place. In the midst of the chaos, Ethan worked frantically at his station, his brow furrowed in concentration. I'm analyzing the crack ship's shielding technology. If I can find a weakness, we might be able to take it down. Suddenly a deep pulsing hum filled the bridge. On the view screen, the crack ship's main cannon, a massive particle beam weapon, began to glow with an eerie purple light. Will's eyes widened. They've got their weapons back online. That thing will tear us apart if it fires. He knew they had only moments to act. With a grim set to his jaw, Will made a split-second decision. We're taking the fight to them. Prepare for close-quarters combat. Will slammed his fist on the armrest. Ethan, get us out of here now. Prepare for emergency FTL jump. Ethan's fingers raced across the console, plotting the coordinates. Jump calculated. Engaging FTL drive in three, two, one. The Prometheus leaped forward, the stars streaking past the viewscreen. A blinding flash filled the bridge as the crack's particle beam sliced through the space they'd just occupied. Emerging from FTL, Ethan shouted. We're directly above the crack's ship. The enemy vessel filled the viewscreen, its pitted hull looming before them. Will gripped the controls. Isaac, fire the railgun! Target their bridge! Isaac grinned as he slammed the firing controls. The Prometheus shuddered as the railgun discharged, launching a stream of hypervelocity rounds. The projectiles tore through the Crax's weakened shields, burrowing deep into the hull. Explosions blossomed across the insectoid ship's surface. As the Crax vessel reeled, Will spotted a glowing breach in its armor near the main reactor. There, Isaac launched the quantum torpedoes into that opening. A volley of shimmering projectiles leaped from the Prometheus launch tubes. The torpedoes phased through the Crax's hull, detonating deep within the ship. Brilliant explosions chained through the vessel, tearing it apart from the inside. Debris spun away into the void. Will let out a triumphant whoop, but his celebration was cut short by a blaring alarm. Multiple contacts, Jack yelled. A whole cracks fleet just dropped out of FTL. They're surrounding us. The view screen filled with the menacing silhouettes of cracks warships, their weapons glowing with deadly intent. Will felt a cold knot form in his gut. The Prometheus was powerful, but against an entire fleet. Orders, Captain, Isaac asked, his face grim. Will stared at the enemy armada, his mind racing. Fighting was suicide, but they had to warn the Council of the threat. If the cracks reached the colony before the Prometheus could... He shook his head, pushing aside the dire thoughts. They needed a plan, and fast. The fate of billions hung in the balance. With the cracks fleet closing in, Will knew their options were limited. But he refused to give up. There had to be a way out, a way to complete their mission. He just needed to find it before it was too late. The Crax fleet closed in on the beleaguered Prometheus from all sides, their weapons charging with an ominous hum. Will's steely gaze swept across the flickering tactical displays, the odds stacked against them flashing in angry red. He turned to Ethan, his voice steady. 
we have one chance. Overload the FTL drive. Create a gravitational distortion strong enough to pull these bastards in. Ethan's eyes widened. Will, that'll destroy the Prometheus, too. We'll be killed. It's the only way. Will shot back. If we don't stop them here, they'll reach Zarya Prime. Billions will die. This is bigger than us. Ethan hesitated, the weight of the decision bearing down on him. Then, with a grim nod, he turned to his console. His fingers raced across the interface, rerouting power from every system. The ship shuddered as the reactor surged, pushed beyond its limits. Will opened a comm channel to the council. Niran's holographic form flickered to life, her eyes wide with concern. Captain Carter, what's happening? Counselor, we're taking the Krax fleet out, but it means sacrificing the Prometheus. Will's voice was thick with emotion. I want you to know, it's been an honor serving the Council. Remember what we did here. Niran's face crumpled, tears welling in her eyes. Your bravery will never be forgotten, Captain. You've saved us all. The gravitational distortion grew a swirling vortex of energy that tugged at the fabric of space. The crack ships, caught in its inexorable pull, strained to escape. Their engines flared, desperate to break free. But it was too late. One by one, the insectoid vessels were dragged into the maelstrom, their hulls crumpling like tin cans under the immense forces. Explosions blossomed as reactors ruptured, the ships torn apart from within. The Prometheus shook violently, Alarms blaring as its hull integrity failed. Will gripped the armrests of his chair, his knuckles white. He looked at his crew, at the faces of the men and women who had become his family. Jack, his oldest friend, met his gaze with a resolute nod. Ethan, his face lined with sorrow, managed a weak smile, and Isaac, the young prodigy, clasped his hand tightly. In that moment, as the ship disintegrated around them, they were united— bound by their sacrifice by the knowledge that they had given everything to protect the galaxy. The singularity collapsed, the distortion folding in on itself with a blinding flash, and then silence. An eerie calm settled over the battlefield, the once mighty Crack's fleet reduced to drifting debris. On the council station, Niran wept openly, her heart heavy with the loss of the human heroes. Around her, the other councillors bowed their heads in solemn respect. In the days that followed, the story of the Prometheus spread like wildfire. Will Carter and his crew became legends, their names whispered with reverence in every corner of the galaxy. The cracks, their fleet shattered and their weapon destroyed, retreated to the shadows. Their dreams of conquest lay in ruins, crushed by the selfless actions of a few brave humans. And though the galaxy mourned the loss of its greatest champions, their sacrifice was not in vain. They had bought peace with their lives, a peace that would endure for generations. The galaxy would never forget the crew of the Prometheus. Their legacy, forged in the crucible of war, would live on forever, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity and the lengths they would go to protect the innocent. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.